good morning children today we will do the book exercises of your poem daffodils so open your page number 9 of your book you can find exercise d here vocabulary circle the correct meaning of each of the words the word is given on your left hand side for example number 1 is gazed and the three words are given in front of him stared looked peeped so i will do one for you the correct meaning of this word is looked so you have to circle this word circle the word looked like this now the second word is solitude the third is pensive fourth is inward i and fifth again bliss of solitude so like this you find take out the dictionary and find the meaning of these words and then circle the correct one okay so this is exercise d now continue by now turn your page page number 10 and we will do exercise e all the words in this box have one thing in common they all mean glee glee means happiness so you have to find those words from this box and you have to make a join the words to make the sentence the which have the same meaning as glee so i will do first three words for you and then you can find the rest of four words because there are seven words in all so first if you see very easy meaning of glee is d e l i g h t delight so you will make a line from d till t delight the second word is joy j o y joy to so join these three words with a pencil and the third word you can find pleasure p l e a s u r e pleasure so you will join all these words to make a to make one words so i have done three for you now you sit down and find the four rest of the four which are in this words okay so this is our exercise e now comes exercise f exercise f who is compared with what in the sentence given below i wandered lonely as a cloud so now you have to find out that who is compared with what so i i i refer to poet here so poet is compared himself with a cloud understand poet i means poet poet compare himself with the cloud exercise g what does the poet compare the daffodils within the stanza given below when all at once i saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils so in this stanza poet is comparing daffodils to a crowd because there are many daffodils beside the lake so the poet is comparing daffodils with the crowd understand then which object is being personified and how is it describes in the stanza given below tossing their heads 
and in sprinkly dance the waves beside them danced the answer will be the daffodils are being personalized here in this stanza the daffodils are being personalized so these are exercises which you have to do in this book only okay you can write the answers here in this space okay so this is all about the book work of your poem daffodils i hope you understand and you can do it easily okay Good goodbye and have a nice day